Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and fought against our second boss fight, the Emperor and the Empress, and we also had Fuka awaken to her Persona. Um, it's still not known whether or not she's going to join the team, but it's still cool that we got to see that, and she helped us out quite a bit. She had uh, better abilities than Mitsuru had, and that's pretty cool because she allowed us to identify some of the foe's weaknesses. Anyways, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and just, once again, continue on with our school life. You can sort of get a feel of what our routine is just gonna be here for this entire Let's Play. Go about your normal daily life, and then occasionally something crazy will happen, and then back to normal routine. Now, if I did my math correctly, this should be episode 30 that we're doing already, which is insane to me, because that's, you know, longer than most of the Let's Plays that I've done. This game is obviously going to be my longest LP ever, up until maybe I do a later Persona game. But anyways, well, check the new first year girls, they're all pretty cute, but Glasses Girl in the Student Council is especially cute, don't you think? Seems like Yamayuji-san is still asleep, I can't help but worry about her. Alright, who do we got? Oh, we have quite a few people we can uh, up our social links with, I'll go ahead and uh, go with Chihiro, I guess. Uh, Still don't have anything for you, chubby student. Uh, but we will eventually. Uh, another thing that I want to get to is... Uh, before the previous two times that, you know, we defeated a big boss, uh, I'd immediately go into Tartarus and get everything done as soon as I can. We're actually going to hold off on that, because there's going to be a mechanic that we're going to get to in just a little bit that's being introduced. But yeah, enough side stuff. Enough side stuff for now. We have our Justice Persona, so... Let's go ahead and hang out with Jihiro. Dear Yuki-san, I hope I'm not disturbing your afternoon. Do you have time to meet? Oh, Yuki-san, um, do you have some time later today? Oh, good. Um, today I'd like to go somewhere and relax and talk. <sighs> not too many people come here at this hour. This time of day is perfect. So, um, there is something I needed to ask you. The best option to say here is, I'm all ears. <sighs> Thank you. So, there's this friend I have. Um, she's a girl. And, well, there's the boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Like, giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that, lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I I was wondering, is she in love right now? Very subtle, Chihiro. Anyways, the best option to say here is, yeah, she's in love. Senpai. Oh. Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. I-I uh, mean, I know what to tell my friend now. Jahira looks as if a weight is, was lifted off her shoulders. I feel like our relationship has grown. Sorry for asking you about such a weird topic. The best option to say here is happy to help. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Well, should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I, I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. If I make the wrong move here, I might upset her. What should I do? Okay, so the best option here is to hold her hand. Um, this is probably obvious, but it's especially important here. Do not choose to kiss her. If you do, that oversteps her boundaries way too much, obviously. So what that does is it reverses the social link. Reversed social links. If you mess up during, if you say something like, if you say or do something especially bad during a social link, it'll 
make your it'll make the person you're hanging out with so angry that you cannot rank up with them until you spend an entire day hanging out with them and trying to fix it. Uh, so don't do that, obviously. Another th way that you could activate reverse social links is um, if you spend like a month not hanging out with the guy social links, I think that also reverses their social link. And then one more way that you could reverse social links is if you're caught dating two girls at the same time. Uh, like if you're dating one girl and if you're getting like close to the like romance stages with another girl, then that'll reverse the social link of the girl you were dating. So, um, and, the, and then there's one more thing that I have to talk about with uh, dating characters in Persona 3 that I'll get to in a little bit once we actually get around to choosing who we want to date. Anyways, all this is putting all this aside, let's be sure to hold her hand. Oh, your hand. It's so rugged, strong, warm. It it's almost like we're a couple. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said something so inappropriate. Uh um uh, should we get going? I held Chihiro's hand until it was time to part, then went back to the dorm. Oh hey, welcome back. Kurijo senpai and Sonata senpai went to the hospital to pay Yamagishi-san a visit. I wonder if she's alright. Hey, so... I bet Kurijo senpai and Sonata senpai are trying to convince Yamagishi-san to join our team. That worries me. Yeah. Kurijo and Sonata... Kurijo senpai and Sonata-san are both at the hospital checking up on Yamagishi. That means no tartars tonight. I guess we gotta find something random to do to kill some time. I could work, because we do only have 4,000 yen. What's going on at Wild Duck? Can we not do anything there yet? And we also have a man in a suit, which I'm still not gonna do. Are you crowded? No, you're not. Okay, let's hang out. Once again, we're building up our courage here because of something that's upcoming. Also, this is the, my first video that I'm record, recording in which I know the difference between the normal burger and the weekend burger. The weekend burger does do it slightly more, it's just, it's so little that it doesn't really show up. But you should, but you should still get the weekend burger when you have the chance. Kurijo Senpai saved Yamagishi-san because it was the right thing to do, or just because she's a Persona user and we need her? Uh, she has good intentions. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I guess it's really up to Yamagishi-san whether or not she joins us. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Yeah, one of Yukari's, like, strong character traits at this point in the game is that she really does not like Mitsuru. Are you up to the Kamakuri era yet? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Well, let's just power through it real quick. First, the Taika reforms. They happened in the year 645. 645. Just remember that and we can move on. Huh? What were they about? Oh, nothing major, really. Later on in 7, 710, there was the Heiji Kyo. Okay, that wraps up the Nara era. I'm feeling sleepy. Could close my eyes for courage, but I'll still stay awake just because I want more dialogue. What? You actually want more? Okay, here's a question for you then. What's the name of the anthology consisting of 4,500 poems, give or take, leading up to the Nara era? You know what? I don't feel like picking on anyone today. I'll just tell you. It's the Manyoshu. We're supposed to cover the Kokun, the Kokin Wakashu, too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Akota if you want. Ugh, I don't really care about any of this. I just want to get to the Sengoku era. I can hear it calling for me. Yeah, we st we're still on level 3 for academics. Oh, we can't rank up Yun we can't rank up Yuko. That sucks. Okay, so we can rank up Odagiri or Bebe. Odagiri's at rank four, Bebe is at rank what? Rank one? Yeah. I have an Emperor on me, so once again we're going with Odagiri. There's a student council meeting today. No need to respond to me, just come to the student council room, that's all. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? 
With that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. <sighs> Punch in Neanderthals. Best option to say here is they're the worst. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. Odegiri seems embarrassed. I feel like I understand him a little better now. No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. Odegiri is a character who is a huge jerk for most of Social Link, but you'll you see some uh, good aspects of him and uh, he'll get better once we continue on. Grijo, Senpai, and sonata -san are both visiting Yamagishi today, too, so that leaves us on standby at the dorm. I wonder if she'll come home soon. Fuka-chan! She hasn't agreed to join, though, right? I hope she's not being pressured by them or anything. See, even if we wanted to go to Tartarus right away, we can't. Plus, we haven't got the okay from Elizabeth that it's okay to move past the next border floor. I hope Kirijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai aren't pressuring her to join us if she doesn't want to. Sometimes it feels like they'd do anything to achieve our goal, you know. Finally, a new addition to this dorm! Oh man, I'm so stoked! Maybe I should clean my room. Junpei's room is something that we'll get to a little bit later. You know, since we're getting kind of low on money, let's go to Polonia Mall and work at Chagall Cafe. I probably should have done that yesterday, but... Eh. It's a message from Sonata. Sorry for the short notice. Yamagishi is being released today from the hospital. We all need to talk to her together. Come to the command room once you get back to the dorm. So yeah, thankfully she didn't take too long to recover. Took a lot shorter of a time than we did when we summoned our persona. We can hang out with Chihiro a bit more, so let's do that in a sec. Yamagishi-san is leaving the hospital soon, isn't that great? I thought that was gonna be another... I thought you were gonna throw in another jab there at, uh... Mitsuru and Sonata. But no, actually, Yukari is showing a bit of gratefulness, so that's cool. Hello! Good afternoon, Yuki-san. Your advice the other day was greatly appreciated. Although I don't have anything to give you in return, I hope to, to I hope to one day return the favor. I think I've finally gotten used to messaging you. Would you like to walk home together, smiley face? Hello, Yuki-san. Are you heading home now? If you don't mind, I'd like to join you. Seems your hero wants to walk home with me. Thank you. Then could we stop by the strip mall? I was hoping to check out the bookstore. I spend my breaks doing nothing but reading, so I think it's about time I bought some new ones. Oh, all of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each. That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm, we can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait, is this? It is. I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever. This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. So that means 18,000 yen total? Well, what should I do? Uh, the best option to choose here is... Is it good? Of course! All three volumes are great! The characters are portrayed so realistically. It's like they really exist. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what! I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or I'll get them by the time I graduate. I, 
I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness or friends. That is, until recently. The best option to say here is, what do you mean? Oh, don't worry. I was just talking to myself. But I do sort of understand how he feels. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. I can sense affection coming from Chihiro. I feel like I understand Chihiro a little better now. I can't help but feel like there are so many things in this world that I'll never have. Well, should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again. So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Ah, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho-senpai. Only if you want to. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sanada-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, We'll be ready to get in the ring. We figured out the pattern for when special shadows appear, 
Is that what the mysterious boy was trying to tell me? I should start paying attention to the moon's phases. So now we have a counter up in the top right corner. That was always there in uh, the original Persona 3, but I, it's nice that they don't actually show that until we, until it's fully revealed that yes, full moons and the shadows appearing are, you know, related. I guess I technically shouldn't have been talking about full moons and shadows being related before, but it's a pattern that you most likely would have already noticed and you know, especially if you ha had been playing the, especially if you played the original Persona 3, and it's pretty early into the game. I know it's funny to say that on episode 30 that we're still pretty early into the game, but we are. We're just, we're in June right now, and we still have several months to go. So, yeah. Uh, what's up, Junpei? Dude, she's the exact opposite of you, Katan. Smart, kind, modest. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Makoto, what do you think of her? Um. That all you think about? Dude, you need to lighten up. Keep that attitude and you'll be wasting your youth. Uh, being dark and edgy and not lightening up is kind of my entire thing. Well, funny that I say that his whole thing is not lightening up when this remake is like color blasted. Like, when this remake is like three shades lighter than the original game, but eh. Kurijo-kun and Sonata-kun left to walk Yamagishi-kun home. It's late, after all. Still, today was a great day for us all. We've gained new power and learned more about shadows. We are entering the next phase of our battle. We can't just sit on our hands, either. I'd say we could use a new trick up our sleeves. I know she technically made the decision on her own, but it didn't seem like Yamagishi-san was really given much of a choice to me. Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, once again... Uh, Takaba is very mistrusting of Mitsuru. I realize that I say Mitsuru's name weird. I kind of say it too quickly. I say Mitsuru. Um, I'll try to say Mitsuru uh, instead because that's more accurate to how the dub pronounces it. But yeah, we have a new team member, Fuku Yamagishi, and she is awesome. I love her character. Um, she's very sweet. And... Uh, once again, uh, they knocked it out of the park with her voice actor in the remake. It fits her perfectly. And she's going to be a great help. Uh, she's going to kind of be our new navigator. So yeah, she's just gonna kind of be with us on our whole adventure. Wild Duck is too crowded, so let's move over to Polonia. And new dialogue here. Spacious room. Nope, it looks like all the dialogue here is the exact same. So I'll just skip over this without worrying about it too much. Good morning. Hey Yuki-kun, what do you think of Yamagishi-san? Uh, she's very helpful. Huh? That's all you have to say? I mean, yeah, her persona ability is pretty amazing, but doesn't it seem like she just wasn't really given a choice in joining the team? I hope she'll be okay. Hey, did you hear? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Uh, um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you! Oh, Buka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. <gasps> Thank you. That's very sweet. Um, fun fact about that is, that scene right there is the point where the first Persona 3 movie ends, because the way- because this- because this game was adapted not into, like, an anime series, but into four animated movies. So this is where the first movie ends, and it's a very sweet scene, and, um, and I think this is, like, the first time that, uh, Yuki smiles, and it's like- and it's just like, aww. 
Um, there's also this really cool part where um, instead of, in the anime adaptation, instead of Yuki being brought along on the trip to Tartarus, uh, he's left at the dorm to take care of Natsuki. And when Natsuki goes off to Tartarus to apologize to Fuka, Yuki then shows up at the last moment to help help and like save everyone and he shows up on Mitsuru's motorcycle. It's like really cool and a very fun way of changing it up so that you know some other characters get more of the spotlight. Uh, there's also this really like uh, interesting conversation with Yuki and Natsuki. But yeah, the Persona 3 movies are pretty good. I would still highly recommend playing the games. A common consensus in the fan base is that um, the Persona 4 animation is like the best adaptation, and then below that is like the Persona 3 adaptation, which is like all right, and then below that is the Persona 5 adaptation, which was pretty rushed. And that's a big complaint with the anime adaptations is that they are pretty rushed because right now we've been playing for around like 17 hours or so. And so that's 17 hours of game time crunched into like an hour and a half. So obviously a lot of things are going to be skipped by and of course there's barely any of the social element in the adaptations because, you know, that's entirely based around the player's choice of who to hang out with so it's kind of hard to adapt some of that. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on with our new party member. And maybe we'll go into Tartarus. It's not likely because there is something else I'm waiting for. But I don't know. Maybe something big will happen and we will go into Tartarus. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.